हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी सो इफ यू वांट टू गो टू द फाइनेस्ट प्लेसेस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इफ यू वांट दैट विद द डे यू साइन ऑन यू नो कि व्हिच डे यू आर साइनिंग ऑफ इफ यू वांट यू नो विदाउट एनी कंफ्यूजंस कि ओके दिस डे आई विल बी ऑन दिस पोर्ट दिस डे आई विल बी ऑन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ऑन दिस पोर्ट इफ यू वांट अ फास्ट पेस्ड लाइफ इन शिपिंग देन कंटेनर शिप इज द वर्ल्ड सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स जस्ट टॉक अबाउट कंटेनर्स तो पहले वॉटर कार्गो कंटेनर्स कार्गो कंटेनर्स आर लार्ज स्टील बॉक्सेस दैट आर यूज टू ट्रांसपोर्ट गुड्स बाय शिप ट्रेन एंड ट्रक सो भाई ये ना इंटर मॉडल क्या होता है देर आर इधर यू कैन कैरी और कार्गो बाय शिप ट्रेन और ट्रक सो दीज कंटेनर्स आर बिल्ड इन सच अ वे दैट दे कैन बी इजिली कैरिड ऑन ट्रक कैन यू सी ओवर है दे कैन बी कैरिड ऑन ट्रेन एंड दे कैन ऑल्सो बी कैरिड ऑन शिप ओवर है कॉपेट तो दे आर अगेन कॉरोगेटेड स्टील के बने होते हैं 20 feet long is equal to 1 TU again 20 feet long, not just 20 feet long, but I would say 20 feet long, 8 foot wide and 8 foot height. So this is 1 TU. So cargo containers come in a variety of sizes are typically made up of corrugated steel. Corrugated steel. This is corrugations, tick tick tick, and are very strong to withhold bulky cargo. They can withhold bulky cargo. What is the meaning of 1 TU container? Oh, the twenty foot equivalent unit is one TU. So, आज की डेट में one TU means one container which is twenty feet long, eight feet wide, and eight feet in height. One TU. So, today when we talk about container ships, we do not say कि भैया इसका how much ton cargo it carries. We say how many containers it carry. So, if we say for the container ship is twenty thousand TU, means it can carry twenty thousand containers which are twenty feet long, eight feet wide, and eight feet in height. so again let's read the 20 foot equivalent is an exact is an inexact unit of cargo capacity often used for container ships and container ports it is based on the volume of a 20 feet long intermodal container intermodal means different modes of travel truck train ship a standard size metal box which can be easily transferred between different modes of transportation such as ships trains and trucks a container ship from japan comes to india it carries a lot of containers container ships are loaded on the train over here they go to say inside some city in india over there trucks are waiting loaded immediately on one truck gone another truck gone third truck gone fast service today shipping industry has changed because of this containers container in container ships what is a container ship a container ship is a cargo ship that carries all of its load in truck size intermodal containers in a technique called containerization कि दे कंटेनरेशन क्या है कि वी वांट शिप्स वांट टू कैरी एज मच कार्गो एज पॉसिबल व्हाई द मोर कार्गो दे कैरी द मोर अमाउंट ऑफ फ्रेट दे गेट द मोर अमाउंट मनी दे गेट राइट सो कंटेनरेशन मींस कि एक कंटेनर एक ऐसे साइज का जिसके अंदर वी कैन कैरी मैक्सिमम कार्गो एंड फिट इन सच अ वे दैट वी कैन कैरी मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ कंटेनर ऑन वन शिप कैन यू सी ह्यूज दिस इज कॉल्ड कंटेनराइजेशन की वी विल कैरी कंटेनर अप टू दिस मच हाइट ओवर हेयर कैन यू सी दिस इज कंटेनराइजेशन so that we can carry maximum amount of containers copied what is the purpose of a container ship in the supply chain the main purpose of purpose of using containers is to separate different types of cargo so that they can be carried in a container ship different types of cargo in a container ship this means that shoes mobile phones food cars clothes and other items can be transported in separate containers container ships carry just about any type of good one can think of from food to clothing to fuel to furniture to electronics to vehicles to beauty supplies to household cleaners the list goes on container ships carry these goods internationally across the oceans so ro 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 ships we talk what are those they carry only cars but even a container ship can even carry a car inside it can carry laptops it can carry a washing machine it can carry makeup kit for your sisters for our wives right so from anything to everything can be carried on a container that is what is containerization is all about how was a shipping container created so this was the intermodal shipping container was born back in 1957 by an american entrepreneur malcolm maclean and has since revolutionized the shipping and global trade for years malcolm wondered how would he get his trucking company's entire cargo loaded onto a shipping vessel as quickly and efficiently as possible copied so he had a trucking company he wanted ki yaar his company should his truck should not be waiting near the ship for a long long time to carry that cargo he wanted to become very fast ki once the ship reaches 
all the cargo comes on its trucks and then it is taken to the place where it has to be taken so that becomes fast so that is where this containers came he started working with engineer keith tantlinger to engineer the world's first shipping container it was an incredible invention that eliminated wasted space and cut unloading time by up to 3 weeks usse pehle segregating everything unloading to like 3 weeks so not was taking a day that is how he is saying it over here the most significant change is that a shipping container allowed cargo to be seamlessly transported between road rail and sea so if there is a mark this container needs to go to delhi nothing will be straight away from even from japan japan to say haldia from haldia on a train to delhi or from haldia on a truck to delhi simple the world's first container a converted world war 2 tanker it was an oil tanker id lex sailed from port of new york to the port of houston in 1956 you will see the image ahead it carried 58 shipping containers in 1968 the international standards organization standardized this invention as a standard box so that is where with this tu thing came in the box was identified as 20 foot long 8 foot high and 8 foot wide from then on ships were then completely redesigned now once this was designed ki yaar ye this is the ideal size uske ships were designed in such a way ki bhaiya so that they can carry maximum containers and that is where the word containerization came from then on ships were then completely redesigned around the dimensions of boxes shipping cost plummeted and it now became cheaper to manufacture goods on the other side bhai at the end if something is being manufactured in japan and being brought to india how much will it cost in india manufacturing in japan plus profits of the owner plus shipping cost now if the shipping cost has reduced automatically the person who is buying in india will have to pay less so the whole world just transformed faster unloading loading that means earlier if it used to take 4 weeks for one thing to reach from japan to india now it used to take just a week so time has reduced cost have reduced it has become it has changed the whole world so that was thing so again shipping cost plummeted it now became cheaper to manufacture goods on the other side of the world because shipping became so cheap since then it has revolutionized ports rail network ships cities all countries around the world but jab se ye hua uska ports were designed in such a way look at amsterdam port that uh, ports were designed such a way that it is very easy in minimum time in 5 hours 8 hours such a huge ship carrying 20000 containers is just offloaded immediately and then loaded as well so this is how they have designed minimum time out minimum time out that is where money lies corporate the shipping container has been the single biggest catalyst catalyst of globalization the shipping container has been the single biggest catalyst of globalization while making this video i have never said on a container ship now i am realizing how important is uh, container ship in our shipping industry i'll be very honest world's first container ship id lex april 26 1956 container ships maiden voyage 1955 the ship was modified all tanker to container ship and renamed id lex during her first voyage in her new configuration it carried 58 containers from new york port to port of houston texas today container ship compared to one in 1960s can carry 1200% more cargo at a time so this has been the difference that is where the ships are designed ki same size of ship can carry 1200% more cargo so in 1971 when the biggest container ship would carry 2961 containers 1983 on 4614 containers were carried by american new york in 1995 it was sovereign mers carrying 8160 containers in 2005 it was mr mers carrying 14770 containers two in 2013 or 14 cscl globe carrying 19000 containers to ocl hong kong carrying 21000 containers in 2017 to ever lot in 2023 carrying 24000 containers today now can you see the difference this is msc rena length 400 meters the biggest container ship today in the world carries 24346 containers out here compared to 1956 our first ship idelix length 160 meters carrying only 58 containers can you imagine the difference the length has just increased two and a half times in between 1956 to 2023 but can take cargo containing capacity from 58 became 24000 a 413% increase in cargo carrying capacity this is where shipping industry has revolutionized everything so let's just see types of container ships early container ships 1956 length was just 137 meters long 17 meters wide 9 meters depth 
Fully cellular was used in 1970. 215 meters long, 20 meters wide, 10 meters depth. Panamax would carry around 3,000-3,400 containers. Again length 250 meters into 32 meters into 12.5 meters. 250 length, 32 width, 12.5 depth. Panamax Max carrying containers between 3,400 to 4,500 containers. Length 290 meters, width 32 meters, depth 12.5 meters. Post Panamax 1, Post Panamax 2. By 2000, Post Panamax would carry 6000 to 8500 containers. Length had increased to 340 meters, width 43 meters, depth 14.5 meters. Then came VLCS, 11,000 to 15,000 containers from 2006. Length has increased to 397 meters, 56 meters wide, 15.5 meters depth. ULCS, 18,000 to 21,000 containers, ULCS, 2013 onwards. 400 meters long, 59 meters wide, 16 meters depth. Then from 2019 onwards, MGX24. They can carry from 21,000 to 25,000 containers. Length is 400 meters, 61 meters width and 16 meters in depth. Very fast. Container industry is all about as fast as possible. As fast as. The people working on board ship are very fast, very prudent. Engineers working over there can do a simple main engine decarb in a matter of few hours, whereas person, people like us working on tankers and bulk carriers will take a lot of time. One thing, their, their speed means everything. They know that the ship is coming into port at this time, it will leave at this time. They do not have much time. And there is no scope for uncertainty. They know from here, next port is on this day, next port is on this day, next port is on this day. Uh, this, much is the, this much is going to be maneuvering and everything. That's so fast at everything. Loading and unloading containers on ship. So you see this is a container ports. Today ports dynamics has changed. The whole thing has changed. This is an electromagnet uh, fitted over here. It just fixes on the container, picks it up, puts it on the, on the ship over here. All it has to unload, takes it, unloads it. And it is all, a, the whole uh, uh, logistics out here on port is so fast that in a matter of few hours, uh, such a big ship carrying so many thousands of containers is offloaded or loaded again. So that is loading and loading con containers on ship. Till 2022, Ever Acme was one of the biggest container ships. The cost that someone will have to pay if they hire the complete ship to carry around 24,000 containers, which are 20 feet long from Chennai to Shanghai, which is a 20 day voyage. It will be around 124 crore rupees. So I will have to pay 124 crore rupees to carry my 24,000 containers from Chennai to Shanghai for a 20 days voyage. So this is the cost of a container. Today, in 2023, world's three largest container ships are MSC Uran and MSC Loreto, which have a capacity of 24,246 TUs, length 400 meters, wide 61.3 meters. Number two is OOCL Spain, capacity is 24,188 containers, length is 399.9 meters, width is 61.3 meters. Number three is MSC Tisa, Tessa, capacity is 24,116 TUs, Length 400 meters, wide 61.5 meters. Top three container shipping companies in the world. Number one is MSC, Mediterranean Shipping Company. Founded in 1970 by Gianni Ligi, Aponte in Italy. MSC operates 721 container vessels with an intake capacity of 4.6 million TEUs. Number two is Merst and we all know about that. Founded in 1928 by Merst Group in Denmark. Merst line operates over 708 vessels and has a total capacity of about 4.1 million TEUs. CMS CGM is number three company founded in 1978 by Jack Sade in Marseille, France. More than 580 ships and a combined capacity of 3 million TEUs. With this, all I want to say is if you want a fast life, you want to visit the best of the best world sports. If you want, do not want uncertainty in your life. Join container ships. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mata.